First at 5.30, storm damage in Montcalm County. Several trees knocked down along Winfield Lake near Howard City. This happened as storms rolled through around 10.30 last night. The trees damaged a car and a camper. News 8 photojournalist Larry Grand spoke with those who are cleaning up. I got woke up to a loud crash about 10 o'clock at night. Which one do you think it was? Actually, I think it was all of them, like bowling pins on it. I mean, it was, it was literally, it was, all I heard was a great big crash, and I jumped out of my skin. My wife woke me up and said, holy cow, and the lights went off, and that's when I came outside. I mean, it was just that quick, it just blew right through, and it was like in a matter of a few minutes, it just calmed right down again. This damage was caused by the same system that ended up sparking tornado warnings in Ionia and Clinton counties and spawned a weak tornado on the east side of the state. And Matt Kirkwood, uh, while some of us did have so strong storms last night, uh, this has not been the norm this year. No, no not at all, Brian and Sue. Right now we're watching some area showers and thunderstorms, and I've got a roommate that's a meteorologist in college that lives in Green Bay. It's amazing how many more storms they've had over in Wisconsin than here. I actually texted him the other day. I was like, quit hogging up all the storms and the severe weather, although we really don't want that much severe weather at all. Nonetheless, I got me thinking, I was like, let's check this out. Let's see how many reports of severe weather we've had across the Great Lakes compared to Michigan. First, let's start out with Michigan, 102 reports of severe weather so far this year, and that is only 41% of average. Let's jump across the lake over in Wisconsin, 248 reports, more than double of what we've had so far this year. Even more impressive, off to the southwest state of Illinois, 378 reports so far. Going on to Indiana, 299, and Ohio coming in at over 531 <laughs> reports. As you get closer to that tropical air masses, you tend to uh, see a little more in the way of severe weather the farther south you go. So that does make sense. But look at this here in Michigan. It's like we have a protect protective dome over us, and that protective dome a lot of times is the Great Lakes. Now, severe weather reports uh, compared to average so far, 102 uh, this year. The average by this date is right around 251. So you can see we're more than less than half of average. And for a year, 483. Last year, we actually had above average amounts of severe weather, which was the first time since 2011 that has occurred. More often than not, the past decade, actually past two decades, it has been below average. Now, we do have a chance of showers and thunderstorms tonight. I'll talk more about that. And, of course, uh, the full eight-day forecast in minutes away.